All right, now that I have this, which is a separate black, a separate background, a separate green, what I need to do is set up this as a stamp. So in order to do that, everything has to be backwards. So in the background, I'm going to lay some color down. And fill and stroke, what I'm going to do with this big giant area is take it and fill it with black. And the stroke, I'm going to fill it with nothing. Okay. Okay, next thing I need to do is, this is where I have a hard time, is think very abstract. <laughs> okay, so the green would need to be white. All green would be white. So it's best just to grab both the letters separately, each one, and just change it to white. So since the laser works like this, everything black gets burnt. This would leave all of this as my stamp material. This is where the, the ink would stick to this white area, and I can stamp it on. Okay, which means now I have to have the complete backward or complete opposite of this, right? So what I'm going to have to do is copy the green. Shut this green off. I don't need it anymore. Be on the layer of the copy green and call it black one. Okay, in this case, I'm going to turn all these letters black. They're going to look like they disappear. And now I have to go to black, which is below. In order to see black, I have to take the background off. So what would black be? Black would be white. Which would make the whole thing look like it disappeared. So I have this with black on and this one on, producing the black stamp. Now, just for entertainment purposes, I would say you should organize this to wrap it around in your head. In this case, I'm going to move this up and call it black 2. Now, I know in my mind, in order to produce the black stamp, black 1 and 2 have to be on with green off. In order to produce green, I have to have green on and the black off. And this is a successful stamp. Now, go on to the next video. One more thing you have to do is also reverse the image. So, in this case, we have to flip them horizontal. So in this black, you would take, I would do this one step at a time. So in this case, all these right here need to be flipped. You could do this by grouping them. And flipping them. Turn on another layer. This one's a little harder to see. You group them, and you flip them. Turn them on, and you should have both of those flipped. Last one, you go grab it, group it, and flip it. All right, now you can save out your stamp. 
I'm going to say this is stamp 3 just for an example. Alright, enjoy. Let's move on to the next video.